Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Carrie and I'm going to be showing you today how to make some adorable, cute Jingle Bell Christmas decorations for your tree. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future crafty and sewing tutorials and go give me a follow over at Carrie Can Make It on Instagram. So, back to these for today. They are so cute, you don't need much to make them and they're going to look great on your Christmas tree or onto a Christmas present and you will get addicted because they're lovely and if you haven't got this fabric in, at home don't worry if you've got any sort of Christmas fabric that you can fussy cut round these will make great little decorations so get a pen and paper ready and write down what you're going to need Okay, so the things you're going to need is first of all the fabric that you can fussy cut. Now I've got this gorgeous fabric from the Craft Cotton Company and it's got lots of little Christmas woodland creatures in this gorgeous palette but you can pick anything that's got um, parts that you can cut out to fussy cut because all we're trying to do is make little stamps effects and we're going to use some pinking shears which have a pointed edge so you, that's going to prevent your fabric from fraying so we're going to need those you're going to want some jingle bells to add on to the end so they've got a little jingle you'll need some plain fabric that we're going to put the designs onto you'll need some jute, yarn or ribbon to do the hang on the decoration and you're going to need some toy stuff in an iron and a pressing mat, some pins and of course your sewing machine and I'm going to use my gorgeous Atelier 9 from Janome. So I've got my chosen piece of fabric that I'm going to fussy cut so I'm just going to take this over for a press um, just so it's nice and flat and then I've got my pinking shears so I'm going to select an image from the fabric and I'm going to use the pink and shears not only because this will help it to stop it from fraying but also it will give it a lovely stamp effect which is what I'm after on this design And there we have it and now what I need to do is cut out of the plain fabric a shape that's slightly bigger than the image itself so I'm just going to give this a press I've folded it together because we're going to be cutting two out one for the front and one for the back and then I'm going to just place my image on the top like so take a pin pin it through the centre and I'm just going to freestyle and cut round the shape leaving a nice border on the outside bearing in mind with there's going to be a seam so we want to make sure that we're going to leave enough gap round and the, the lovely thing about this decoration is it's not precise and the rusticness just gives it so much charm As you can see and I'm just going to cut the last side and there we have it now I'm going to remove one of the plain pieces of fabric and position where I want it so I'm going to go straight in the middle and we are just going to top stitch round as close to the edge as possible with our sewing machine and I'm going to do a straight stitch. You could do a zigzag if you want, it doesn't really matter. Pivoting around the corners. Have a little shape what we're going to do is put some jute 
in the middle, some twine or whatever ribbon you have and we're going to fold it together and place it in the centre and then put the back on top of the front to encase it and then pin all the way round and then we're going to sew it through the sewing machine leaving a gap at the bottom to pull it through and just double check that the ribbon is central Congratulations, you've now made your little jingle bell beautiful Christmas tree decorations. Um, I absolutely adore these and I can't wait to fill my Christmas tree with them. I'm going to go and make a load more now myself to put onto my own Christmas tree. Thank you so much for watching and again don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram at Carrie Can Make It. Thank you for watching, bye bye.